Watch out for headbutts. In two of Hopkins' move, he ran in with his head down again, as you see right there. He's about Hopkins supposedly right demonstrated tension. Right, right, right goes Calzaghe down on a big point to point right hand. What an embarrassment to Calzaghe and all. Calzaghe proved that in his last fight with Kessler, where he came back and turned the fight around, and Bernard does. Perhaps the product of the fight, no one has a better work rate. He trains as hard as anybody. Fighters. Also, Bernard probably, I don't think anybody oh, no, hasn't no, known no. him. Time Calzaghe nears Hopkins. Bernard is reaching out and clutching him with the left arm. Well, Mayweather had a lot to do with that. Yeah, and I think so far it's Hopkins who's keeping Calzaghe from doing it. are very difficult to land clean punches on. Both of them are very, very good defensive fighters. And now when the two fighters are engaged in what might be called clinches and it doesn't look like much is going on. They've been in brisk on these, you know, who kept his head down, put the guard and getting hit, made opponents hurt the hands, but also he's... And that's saying something, because Palzaghi's always been able to impose right hands in the past. The crowd boos as Cortez warns Calzaghi. Body shots by Calzaghi. Hopkins drives him away with a counter right. You gotta give him an extra point to round one, just like you said, for the knockdown. But Jim, I gotta tell you. But just because you have the numbers doesn't mean you won the round. Oh, Big right hand from Hopkins. Oh. Lacey of the United States a couple of years ago. The way in which they request you to do, you don't have to do it mandatorily. When you come to the arena, I think they say Kazaghi seems to have gotten more comfortable with the rhythm and flow of the fight, and is setting the tempo. And Bernard is comfortable and ready to start really doing his thing. I'm surprised when he does that. Hopkins doesn't punch. Oh, oh, oh. Very concertedly covering up inside to make sure Hopkins didn't land in it. You said the more identifiable punches. Whenever I see sweat flying, beyond that, Bernard is not having a good flow of anything else. Coming oh, oh. to the right hand, he really knocked out with really, for the most part, Robert Allen. Earlier, Calzaghe landed a good straight left hand to the body and the left upstairs. Calzaghe getting in more punch. Or maybe they just wanted to... He's coming in, but he doesn't have any power. His punches are just a little thin. Smother you right away after that. So it can be a very rough fight to score. Calzaghe has him step back and shot a left uppercut when Bernard goes forward because Bernard runs in with his head down every time. Punches than he did earlier. Well, it's easier by moving and boxing in and out a little bit. He can fight a much smaller fight. Choke Calzaghe. That is only a one-point difference because Hopkins has that. Scoring another knockdown. If, if well, I think it's also alive. possible that the fighter that's ancient in boxing. And you know what's amazing, too? I've never... Incredible, uh, incredible athlete. Amazing man. Well, he spent 17 years fighting. And still, he was very weak, making 160. He's been a light heavyweight a long time. The best way to make Bernard Hopkins fight offensively is to go hit him, as Calzaghe is doing. That's what I was saying right there. Around the Hopkins, which evens the fight on his scorecard. It's back when he's back to Antoine Elkins. I thought was his last really aggressive fight, even when he beat Trinidad. Another four-punch rally by Calzaghe. Punctuated. Hopping left hand. There's a solid left from Calzaghe. Hopkins, Calzaghe constantly trying to apply pressure, trying to speed the tempo of the fight, trying to make the 43-year-old man fight. And Box numbers in eight, Hopkins 15 out of 38, Calzaghe 22 out of 65. And the urgency of the issue is portrayed in the... But he's still out to be good straight left. Good straight left yeah. hand by Calzaghe. That's been pretty rare. Hopkins gets in the right hand. Improvisational ability is what we're seeing here. Hard right hand for Hopkins, but Joe was rolling with the punch. And he's coming right back and not, not letting... ...that are making the, flats, the sweat fly. Hold on, hold on. Another straight left hand for Hopkins. Oh, Excuse oh, me, oh, for Calzaki. Oh, oh. I mean, you've been saying it's a tough round. It's not Calzaki, the aggressive guy, oh, and Bernard throwing fewer and fewer punches. For an Academy Award, for a movie that takes place in April. Straight right hand by Hopkins. Oh, 
suddenly the fight looks like Joe Cortez there explicitly stating, I'm not trying to take any points. This round may be on the table as we come to the last 10 seconds. And both guys let the... Younger and faster, higher volume of punches without work Bernard and went careless there, leaving himself wide open. And Bernard still is a KGO guy. Third is a judge from Illinois, whose record is not all that and later on, as the fight progresses toward the decision. Hopkins' old, tired arms were just unable to keep up with Calzaghe's. Aside from the Michael Spinks preparing him to win the title from Larry Holmes was Roy Jones moving more up to a heavyweight. No penalty. Cortez says go right ahead and fight. But might there be retaliation? If they want to flurry of F-bombs for his son. You know, but in the corners, Hopkins' corner. Again, those early swing rounds, depending on whose favor they go in, might determine the fight. And the final one, and they're both fighting hard. As I always say, the Nevada judges consistently like guys who force a fight. It was a given when you compare their style. Certainly looked in the first few rounds as though it was more than possible. It does the fact that no point was ever deducted for the two times that the fight was stopped because of low blows by Kalzaki. As the seconds tick away. And they fight past the bell. Joe! 